G'day guys, my name's Luke and you're watching Aquatic Rehab TV. Um, we've just arrived in Cairns last night and we're going to do some spear fishing off the Coral Sea. So um, basically I'm just stoked to find it's such a beautiful day out here. There's variable wind all week and um, the sun's out and there's no, not a cloud in the sky so it's just luxury. Um, we're about to head up to Port Douglas now and uh, we're going to jump on the boat, do some gun rigging and go from there. Yesterday afternoon we arrived in Port Douglas, had a few drinks at the local bar, sort of got settled in and um, I've just woken up on the boat and uh, it's just beautiful. We've been steaming since about midnight and now it's half past seven in the morning and uh, we've got about another two and a half hours before we reach the reef that we want to dive. We're going to be using the little GoPro head cams and um, hopefully there's a few fish around and a few sharks and bits and pieces to film too so let's get into it. Okay guys, so we've woken up on day two. Um, we've been diving some of the local reefs around here, we're about um, 80 kilometers off the Australian coast. We're doing two days here, so we went yesterday to test out the air and have a bit of a dive and sort of see what's around. Um, today we're gonna be diving a reef about a kilometer away from where we are now, uh, where we slept uh, last night, and um, do another day um, here before heading out um, even wider. I'm not sure what today's gonna bring, um, but there's only one way to find out, so. We'll be in the water shortly and we'll go from there.
steam all the way up to Bougainville Reef and um, hunting down some, some more species, hopefully wafer and um, maybe some dog turds as well. But we'll just see how we go. So. Big. <laughs> Whoa. Let's go, let's go. Oh, really? What was it? Uh, it's the same thing as last time. <laughs> but who's the avid blue water guys? Who's. One, two. And I'll guys. Three. So when we're saying when we're saying blue water, here you can do either. Like you, you'll be able to see your mate who's in a thousand metres of water, but you'll see two metres of water. Yeah. All right. So what we'll do, we'll put six people into um, Johnny on that side uh, to go shallow, and we'll put four people into Frankie on this side to go through the water. Perfect. Okay. Come out of the come out of the depths. Yeah, they're pretty easy to shoot. They come straight to you. you just blind it in there. By flame for my first and my personal best. And where did you shoot it? Bottle C. In the water or? <laughs> no, on land. Straight for me. He is mine. Okay. How big is it? It's five. Five kilo. A uh, sail fin snapper and a moo. Um, this guy's just cruising around on the sand near some bombies in yeah. the middle of the lagoon. Yeah. Slayed him. It's the first one I've ever seen. That's sick. Awesome. 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 Pretty, pretty happy with that. Okay, so we're sitting at the airport. Um, we've been diving for five days um, on the Coral Sea with the anchor charters. Uh, 
basically just um, out in the blue water having a, having a bit of fun shooting fish. Yesterday was, was our last day on the water and um, we've been targeting fish on um, pearl reef, on the, on the ribbons uh, reef, sort of great barrier reef. Um, basically trying to target dogtooth tuna. And when we were working on the ledge we had a, a, a small black marlin come in on the flash in. Uh, we made the call not to shoot it just so uh, we didn't get distracted by it and waste our last day um, fighting a small uh, marlin when we could have had the chance on the doggies. One of the guys shot a uh, good fish but it, um, it had a really solid run on it and uh, it was hurt too but um, just really unlucky, the, the, the really, really dirty fight. Dog tooth sort of peered out of nowhere, I sort of just didn't really even get time for a breath. I was straight under, had the camera rolling, I oh. swam down, thought I got into a pretty good range, put a pretty good shot in the back of the head and sort of, I thought I stoned it at first, it didn't really take off for about 10 seconds but then she hit second gear and just all over. What was your initial reaction when you guys actually saw the footage of what happened? Uh, that's, I couldn't I'm believe it. I'm getting goosebumps when I see it right now. It's just a, it's amazing to the fish that he shot and how hard it ran actually. And he yeah. got, got a good shot into it. It was bleeding a lot and reefing up. It's definitely hurt. It's definitely hurt. And he would have landed, I guess, another good float on it and he might have landed it. Yeah. It would have been a good fish. I reckon 80 kilos. Yeah, after about 100 meters at the reef, I seen the boy on the surface, and unfortunately the doggy had reefed me and snapped 400 pound line, like, like it was nothing, it was pretty crazy. It, in fishing, it's, 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 it's not always a happy ending, so um, that's just how it goes. Still good um, to see them? Yeah, still great to see them. Um, great to sort of get in the water and, and figure out a bit about how they act in that, and we'll definitely be into them, um, try to get into them soon. Um, one of the boys shot a 20 kilo Spanish on the last day as well, so it's a really nice fish. Um, also, we had a couple of guys jump in um, in the blue water off um, Bougainville Reef, and after about a minute in the water, they had uh, two Wahoo on board, um, both stone shots. And um, Sam Cox from Adreno actually uh, he stoned a, a Wahoo and it popped off his spear, and he managed to catch the fish, so uh, very lucky there. Um, got it on board and landed it, so he must be stoked about that. Um, I don't know if he's going to tell the story the same way, but that's it's how it went down. What's really nice, I think, about the diving out there in the Coral Sea, especially where we were, is if, if you're into your reef work, uh, you could do it uh, within 100 meters of, of guys that are diving on total blue water. Um, you could be targeting uh, any of the blue water species and, and, and targeting all of your reef fish, your coral trout, and bits and pieces, and within 100 meters. You've got drops that, that literally drop down to thousands of meters deep. Um, right there, so it's 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 uh, for variety. You can all dive together and, and 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 just split a little bit, and you can still see each other working the different species. That's so really really nice. Um, highly recommended. Go with these boys. You guys have to stay tuned because um, we got we got New Zealand coming up, and uh, also we have uh, uh, the islands coming up as well. So everyone dive sober and uh, stay tuned for the next episode.